Hey rock hounds, rock lovers, geo lovers. It's time for another featured Friday specimen and this is our specimen of the day. So take a look at that as usual. I'll give you a little tour of it. Let's you, let you look at it. Um, this is just a visual inspection um, on a video. So in the field you would do other tests to identify it. Uh, but today we'll just look at this one. Now, this one, I, I also have done videos on a mineral that tends to look like this. I think in the field, um, it's pretty easy to get confused between the two of them. I won't say what it is just yet. Uh, I'll eventually reveal, let me move this just a bit here. There we go. I will eventually reveal what this is, and then you'll know. Um, but yeah, you have to be careful with this one and you do want to do some mineral tests. Um, one thing I can tell you is this is heavy. It's very heavy. That might help, it might not. But it is a, it is a very heavy specimen. So, um, let's see if I can get a little closer, hopefully here. There we go. Let's get a little closer view for you so you can really check out the look of it. We're talking about that silvery metallic mineral that you see there. I know there's other stuff going on, but that's what we're talking about today. So the shiny, dark grayish, dark silvery metallic looking mineral. What do we have here? So what you want to do is take your best guess and stick it in the comments. Whatever your best guess at what this mineral is, stick it in the comments. Don't cheat. Don't look ahead or or what other people have said, just stick your guess there. We want some variety. And then we'll see what guesses we come up with. And what's cool about it is, this gives us an idea of how tricky it can actually be to identify minerals, because even when we know about some minerals, uh, we have to be careful at, uh, you know, confusing them with other ones. And like I said, you have to do certain techniques to really know a mineral. In, in fact, a lot of them technically would take lab analysis to be 100% sure what you have. Um, there are tools and techniques uh, that are used in, in, the, in the lab setting that you actually can, um, you can really determine what exact mineral you have but when you're in the field you don't have probably not some of these are quite expensive tools and techniques so um, you might not have um, you know the access to those tools um, and so you have to rely on some other things and I talk about mineral identification here so definitely check that out if that's something you want to get into um, then check out the video I did on that but in the meantime see if you can take a guess at this just for fun, and uh, I'll give you a hint. So one thing this looks like, and one way we would determine what this is, uh, is we could do a streak test, because it kind of looks like hematite, if you know that mineral. Um, but when if you streak this guy, I can tell you it won't come out, it will come out gray. It will be kind of a grayish tone. So that's your hint. So if that makes you want to change your guess, go for it. Put another guess down there. So I'll give you a few seconds to do that, and then I'll reveal what we have here today. Our mineral that you're looking at is actually galena. And galena is a lead ore. It's, it's a really cool mineral to find. Um, but again, it sometimes can really look like hematite. And... The, way, the best way to tell the difference is to do a streak test, and what that means is you, you actually swipe the mineral across um, something that's like a tile. And that, okay, let's, uh, oh, there we go. That, uh, that test, swiping it across a tile, will give you a color. And that color indicates to you what mineral it is because hematite comes out red. And again, that's something I go into more detail and I actually show in that video I was talking about where I talk about how to identify minerals. Really useful if you're getting into serious uh, rock hounding um, and you want to find certain minerals and then know what you have. So there you have it, guys. Another featured Friday today. I know you guys have been enjoying these. I'm going to continue doing them um, and, you know, 
coming up with some interesting ones for you, but today we have lead, or galena, technically, a lead sulfide. Next time, who knows what we'll have. I'll see you guys in the field on the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo.